Hey there, welcome to March, uh, one of my favorite months of the year. It was in March that I had some pretty powerful things come into my life and major changes in my life. Um, it was many, many, many years ago. On a March morning, I just woke up and I said, I'm done. I'm done being heavy. I'm done being angry. I'm done being grumpy. I'm done being toxic. Done. And I changed my life. Like I started walking every day and I started reading and meditating. And eventually I joined the gym and eventually I started yoga. And you know the rest of the story. But March is a great, um, a great month. It's when I took my very first yoga training. I just made a lot of big changes in the month of March. And I love to teach March. I love to teach the idea of of optimism. I love to teach alignment. I love to teach the idea of clearing out the clutter from everything that's accumulated this winter and making a fresh flower bed so that we can start cultivating and growing. But when I'm thinking about this month for essential yoga, I wanted to, I wanted to bring out some oils that are really designed to bring a sense of union with mind, body, and spirit. So today's practice is gonna be very slow. It's gonna be based on alignment. So you will need a block. Um, I have plenty of these if you live local and you need to borrow one, um, just ask me. I can clean it off, throw it on your porch or you can come get it off of my porch. But it's really looking at like these little subtle shifts that we can make in our physical form that can then help us to transform those subtle changes off the mat into our life and to be in alignment with our greatest hopes and dreams. So spring is such a time to start thinking about what do I wanna grow and how do I stay in alignment in doing that growth? Sometimes um, we get out of alignment when we wanna go a different direction. So kind of bringing all of that together and then also having a little bit of a theme of optimism here, because I think Optimism is such a beautiful word for March, and we're gonna be learning a lot about optimism. So you're gonna need a block and a mat. Make sure that your space is comfortable and that you are quiet. Your people in your home know that this is your time. Uh, 45 minutes just for you. And if you have a diffuser, go ahead and pop some Cypress essential oil into your diffuser. If you don't, you can put a couple drops in your hand, rub your hands together, cup your nose, give a swipe along your mustache, and then go ahead and get your block and come on down to the mat and get settled. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera off like I do, just so that you are not distracted by what you see, but you can instead just listen to my voice. Just make sure that you have your oils for the practice. Um, with you, you will need cypress, grapefruit, frankincense, marjoram, the deep blue soothing blend and balance, many of my favorites. I use cypress the most for pain, joint pain, muscle pain. It is an excellent choice because it is the oil of motion. This one helps um, ease some of the muscle tightness that we can have physically. It's great for lymphatic drainage, circulatory systems, things like that. It's gonna be something that we can use to help the appearance of skin because it gets those cells moving, blood's moving. And it's just a beautiful oil physically, but emotionally, the oil of motion and flow, we're about to turn a new season. We're about to come into um, a time of growth. So Cyprus creates an energetic flow where there's been a little bit of stagnation, a little bit of winter, a little bit of slowness. This one helps us to get unstuck, to kind of move. And so I picked it to start out our practice today because I wanted to kind of get things going around us, things that um, we need to move from, we need to shift from and just start to feel ourselves a little bit more in the flow of life and the flow of growth. And so I picked it today just to help us let go of the things that have pulled us aside in an undesired direction so that we can begin to return to that alignment and to balance. Go ahead and bring the soles of your feet together and arrive 
here in your body, on your mat, with your breath. With the knees open and the soles of the feet touching, we feel the spaciousness through our groin, through our hips and our inner thighs. And then go ahead and close your knees, reach over there for your block. Knees will be up towards the ceiling bottoms of your feet on the mat. And we're just gonna lift up our hips and slide that block underneath the sacrum like a loaf of bread. So it's gonna be width-wise, not long-wise on your mat, but width-wise. And just rest your sacrum, that triangular bone at the base of your spine, your pelvis, just against the block. So we get this beautiful posture with no effort. You can take your arms out to a slight diagonal. Let your fingers curl inward. Just begin to soften the heart, soften the body. And as you stay connected to your breathing and just let the posture do the work. Let's talk about grapefruit. Grapefruit essential oil is a beautiful oil to have. Citrus being one of my favorite collections of oils. I love citrus for internal use. Only trusted brands, of course. It's great for, for cleaning, cleaning out the insides as well as cleaning out our homes. But similar to Cypress, the one that we're diffusing, this one is an excellent choice for physically supporting the movement of fluids in the body and lymphatic systems and just getting things going as far as reducing some of that extra fluid, but it's so balancing and uplifting. If we put it in a glass of water and we take a sip, we can both breathe in its calming scent, but also taste that wonderful flavor. And the neat thing about grapefruit oil is it comes from the rind of the skin. So it does not interact with some of those medications that say do not take with grapefruit because that comes from the juice or the meat of the plant. And so emotionally, grapefruit is the oil of honoring the body. This one encourages us to take some direct love and respect for our body and our needs of our body. It helps us to release some deep seated tension and frustration, even irritability and even moodiness and help to see our beauty. And I picked it today just to clean out our thoughts and our feelings and to prepare us to recognize that we are beautiful, we are strong, and we are doing exactly what we are here to do. And we are in alignment with our greatest good. Go ahead and lift up the hips, slide that block out from under Hook your hands behind your hamstrings and bring your knees into your chest. And feel your spine attached to the floor. Maybe rock side to side. Maybe front to back. Beautiful, now go ahead and Rock so much that you rock up to a seat. Just an easy seat here. And then think about the shoulders being right over the hips. Create a nice tall spine. You might even tuck your chin slightly and that creates some space in the back of the neck. Bring your left hand 
on over to your right knee and bring your right hand behind you. We're gonna keep this alignment with shoulders over hips, but we're gonna to start to rotate, take a breath in, and then start to spin to the right. Feel your belly start to constrict just a little bit. Take another breath in, spin a little bit more to the right. Take a breath in and to the right, so you go. And now we'll wind our body back to front, sort of reset sitting bones, wiggle the cheeks a bit, get the shoulders again over the hips, slight tuck of the chin, take a breath in, right hand to left knee. And when you exhale, turn to the left. Take another breath in and turn to the left. Nice, go ahead and wind back to front. Beautiful. Bring your arms up high to the sky. Keep your shoulders over your hips. Remember alignment. Take a breath in and just lay your lap into your legs and reach your arms forward. You might even creep your fingers out in front just a little bit more, spider walk them out there and just feel that side body stretch. Beautiful. Go ahead and roll over your knees. Make your way to a tabletop or an all fours position. And once you find your knees over your hips and your hands underneath your shoulders, go ahead and lower the arms to the forearms, but keep the bum way up high. This is called puppy dog pose. So it's like a baby version of downward facing dog. It's a little more accessible for most, but it's a nice way to soften the heart and we keep our hips above our knees. So the tailbone's high, bum's in the air, but the heart is melted to the mat, forehead to the mat. You might even roll your forehead around the mat, just a breath or two. slide your hands back and push yourself up to a tabletop. Just take a peek and make sure that your fingers are facing the front of the mat. Sometimes they like to turn at a diagonal. We want to keep this alignment as our focus physically. Rotate your arms just a little bit forward. Your elbows, your eyes of your elbows go forward. So we do that rotation from the shoulder. So we're just turning our elbows forward, keeping the fingers forward. It's a little bit tricky to do, but in time it becomes pretty good, pretty familiar. Fantastic. Go ahead and tuck your toes here. And then see if you can bring your bum back to your heels. Sitting up, it's called a plantar stretch. So it's a great stretch for plantar fascia, and it's hard to get the shoulders over the hips. So do your best here. The cheeks are resting against the heels. You have a deep flexion in your toe joint, creating that beautiful stretch on the bottom of your feet and just breathe. It's a tough one. So just stay for a couple breaths. Beautiful. Go ahead and come back to all fours. Keep your toes tucked and take a breath in and push into the hands. When you exhale, lift the hips up and back and we find downward facing dog, upside down V shape. When you inhale, lift the heels up really high and the tailbone goes really high. And then when you exhale, the heels soften towards the floor. And then we inhale, lift the heels again and exhale just let them lean down towards the floor. They may not get there. It's no big deal. Do that one more time. Your eyes are at your toes, your heart's towards your thighs. Beautiful. Take the right leg up and back, but don't open the hip. Keep the toes down. So many times we come into this three-legged dog and we really open up the hip and point the pretty toe. But today we're going to keep this idea of alignment. 
So the leg might not be too high to keep the hip pointing down. Take another breath in. Bring the right foot between the hands. Low lunge. Left knee is straight. The leg is strong. The hands feel the weight of the body. The eyes are looking forward. Beautiful. Now lower the left knee to the mat. Bring the torso upright into a low crescent lunge. Bring the arms up high. And so our hips are in alignment facing the front of the mat. We might have to draw the right hip back just a little bit. Left hips reaching forward, shoulders over hips, soften your gaze. Reach the arms up just a little bit more. Take a breath in. And when you exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Get long through the spine. Begin to turn to the right. Your left elbow is gonna attach to the outside of the right thigh, but keep the spine long. We're gonna grow this. Take a breath in, twist. Turn the heart up just a little bit. Keep pressing the palms together. Take another breath in. You can use that elbow attachment to the thigh to kind of twerk a little bit of twist deeper. Beautiful. Now unwind, reset, low crescent lunge. Shoulders, hips in alignment. Take your arms to the sky. And now bring your hands down to the mat and shift the weight of your body back as you straighten your right leg. Another place to find some alignment here. Pull the right hip back just a little bit. Now offer your heart forward and up, take a breath. And when you exhale, lean forward just a little bit more. Breathe into that sensation that you feel behind the right leg. Breathe. I have fallen in love with these slower practices to really watch where my mind goes. And I find when I can return to the breath, these sensations don't trigger my mind to become awfully busy. Beautiful, now begin to walk your hands forward just a little bit. Lift up your left knee, find that low crescent lunge. So the knee is off the mat now. And now we're gonna bring the body up. Arms will go high, just like they were with low crescent lunge. Here we are in a high lunge. So square the hips again. It might feel wobbly. So root into the right foot and into the left toe joint. Squeeze the energy to the inner line of center of your mat. And here we go, take a breath in. Seal the hands together at the heart, breathe out. Take a breath in. Start to turn the heart to the right. Left elbow is gonna find again the outside of the right thigh. Keep the spine long, get the crown of the head long. Take a breath. Look past your right shoulder, breathe. Unwind back to front. Arms are high. And now lower your hands slowly and gracefully to the mat. Engage your core and step your right foot back into downward facing dog. Just breathe. Let's take that to the left side, the left leg is gonna lift and the hips are gonna stay square in, in alignment to the mat, to the floor. So the toes are down. You take a breath and then you slowly bring the left foot between the hands, stay in this low lunge, straighten your right leg, push through the heel, press into the hands, lead your nose forward. Go ahead and softly lower your right knee. And sweep your arms up into a low crescent lunge. Square your hips, so draw your left one back just a little bit. Take a breath. Hands come to the heart as you breathe out. 
get a little longer, a little taller. On your inhale, start to turn to the left. Your right elbow is gonna hook on the outside of your left thigh, and then you'll take another breath in. And you'll look past your left shoulder. Stay and breathe. Start to wind back. Shift the weight of your body back. Lift up your left toes. Left leg is long and we square the hip. So left hip probably needs to come back an inch or so. And then we offer our heart forward. Take a breath in and then we fold. Feel it and breathe. Taking time to go slow in a practice welcomes in physical alignment. When we hurry through the postures, we often don't feel what we are supposed to feel. So to slow down, you can find this beautiful sensation. Start to walk the hands forward, lift up the back knee, press through the heel, find your low lunge. <clears throat> and then when you inhale, bring the arms high, crescent, high lunge. Right knee is straight, leg is strong. Take a breath in, bring your hands to your heart. Take an inhale, get long. Start to rotate to the left. Your right elbow is gonna find the outside of the left thigh. It's hard, take a breath in, do your best. Look past your left shoulder. And sometimes when we come into a practice that includes a lot of twists, a lot of lefts, a lot of rights, a lot of turning, a lot of balance, we can feel out of alignment. I'm gonna stop these twists after this and come into some linear, more uh, front and back postures to really get into alignment with the hips and the shoulders, start to wind back, arms go high. Float the hands to the mat, low lunge. Engage your core. Lift up and step back into downward facing dog. Beautiful. Now your eyes are gonna to peek to the top of your mat and you're gonna grab your block and your frankincense as you make your way tiptoeing to the top of your mat. Beautiful. And just set them down in front of you. Take a halfway lift and a forward fold. Go ahead and grab the frankincense, begin to roll up to a standing position. Just hold that bottle in your hands just for a moment, stacking shoulders over hips, knees over ankles, chin is slightly drawn in to create that space in the back of your neck. Go ahead and take off the cap of your frankincense you can take a smell directly from the bottle. You can put a few drops in your hands. You can breathe that beautiful aroma, this incredibly rare and powerful oil that is one that is known for its anointing, historical holy oil. It is a beautiful oil that's used for sacred ceremonies. It's great for everything physical that you might need, immune system, immune function, skin, joints, cells. It's one you must have. Emotionally, this is the oil of truth. This one connects us to our spiritual selves. It invites us to look at, are we in alignment? Are we showing up in the world at our greatest good? Can we break free from habits that bring us down, that don't help us to achieve our highest potential. I picked it today just to bring our spirit into alignment with our mind and our heart as we come into practice. Beautiful. Go ahead and grab your block. You're going to place it between your inner thighs on the skinny side. So it's not going to be like the wide side. It's going to be the skinny side. So your thighs are going to be on the widest parts of the block and it's gonna be above the knee, not on the knee at all. So it's up into the, the fleshy part of your thighs. 
And then we start to feel a little bit of engagement there. In order to keep the block in the right position, we have to put a little tension there. Toes and heels are in a line. Arms are gonna float up to the sky. So this extended mountain pose. And just notice the sensation that might feel different when we have the block between our legs, that we feel a little bit tighter. We feel a little bit more in control of where we are and what we're feeling. Take a big breath in here. And then go ahead and bend your knees as if you're sitting in a chair. Notice how the block changes the sensation of a chair pose that you might be familiar with. Eyes are go down just to protect the neck. If your back hurts at all, bring your hands to your heart. That's a perfect option. But see if you can just set the weight back just a little bit into your heels and look down at your toes and even lift them up off the mat. Put a little bit of tension on that block and breathe. Take one more. And then start to rise. Go ahead and reach down and grab the block from between the inner thighs. We're going to take a giant step back with our left leg. And the left toes are going to be pointed towards the long edge of the mat. The right toes are still going to face forward and we're going to find warrior two. So bend your right knee a whole bunch. Tee out your arms lengthwise. Hold the block in your right hand. Just soft hold. And so you're looking at the block. You're looking at the hand. Right knee is bent a lot. And now take your left hip and just see if you can pull it back a little bit and tuck your cheek underneath you. Just tiny little adjustments to find alignment. Beautiful. Stay and breathe. Are your shoulders creeping into your ears? Nice. Now, next inhale, straighten your right leg. Lower your left hand to your left leg. Reach your right arm with the block forward about four inches. Take a breath. Reach it forward. Keep reaching. Don't change anything. Legs are straight. Keep reaching the block forward. One more. And now lower the block to the mat on its tallest point. Take your right hand and plant your palm on top of the block with the fingers forward if you can. And now lengthen your left arm to the sky and here you are in a supported triangle position using a block for alignment. Beautiful. Keep the block down on the floor and on your next in breath, rise up. We're gonna bend the right knee again and step the left foot about halfway up your mat. Square your hips to the front so the block should remain just inside the right foot on its tallest edge. Square your hips to the front, maybe even put your hands on top of your hips and just make sure that they're facing the front of your mat. Both legs are straight-ish. Take a breath in and just hinge at the hip crease and start to fold over your front leg. Now, when you inhale, lift the heart, lift the nose, find space. When you exhale, pull the right hip back and fold. Don't worry about the block just for a moment. Take another breath in, lift the heart, reach it forward, and now fold again. Beautiful pyramid pose, often a beautiful posture to play with alignment, squaring off the hips, equal weight into the feet. And now slip your hands down and put your left hand on top of the block, fingers forward. 
Lengthen your spine here. Keep your right hand into your right hip crease. Just feel that for a second. Even draw the right hip back just for a moment. Now take a breath in. Start to rotate your heart to the right. Keep your left hand on the block. It's going to be your stabilizer. It's going to help you. Take another breath in. Turn the heart to the right. Do you feel that? And now reach your right arm up to the sky in a revolved pyramid, a typically very hard posture to attain unless we use a block. And the block is our friend today. Keep pulling the right hip back. Keep lengthening the spine. The top of your head is reaching towards the top of your mat. Long, long, long spine. Stay for a breath. Beautiful. And now you're gonna lower the right hand. Bend your right knee and step back to a low lunge. You can scooch the block forward just a little bit. Low lunge. Take your eyes forward. Engage your core, take a breath in. Step your back foot to the front of your mat into a fold. Beautiful. Grab your block and slowly roll up. Place the block into your left hand. Take a giant step back with your right foot. Turn the right toes at a diagonal. Left knee bends, toes are forward and we find warrior two. Remember, knee over hip. In fact, I like to look down at my front knee and take my knee to the pinky side of that foot just to make sure that my knee's tracking where it needs to be. It's in alignment. My knee is over my ankle, my hip is square. And then my right hip wants to come forward. So I'm gonna pull it back. And I feel that sensation through my inner thigh. Your arms are lengthwise. You're looking at the block in your left hand. Now sink just a little bit more into this warrior pose and then find your breath. Sink just a little bit more. Now straight that front leg, the left one. Beautiful. Place your right hand on your right hip. Start to reach your left hand forward. Reach it forward. Use your breath, keep reaching it forward. Do you feel that sensation? Eventually now lower the block to the tallest space, right inside the left foot. Your right arm goes to the sky and we're in triangle pose. That feels different because we're aligned. It feels different. Breathe. Take one more breath here. And then go ahead and lower the right arm. Come into a low lunge and step your back foot halfway up. Straighten your legs. Come on up. We're going to find that pyramid pose. Bring your hands to your hips. Square the hips to the front of the mat. You might take a little whiff of your hands. That frankincense is so beautiful. So wonderful. The block is on the inside of the left foot. Begin to hinge at the hip crease. Pull the left hip back and come into this pyramid. Take a breath in and lift the heart. Take another breath in, offer your heart forward just for a moment, lift your nose and now fold. 
Beautiful. Keep your left hand on that left hip crease and place your right hand on top of the block, fingers forward. Feel that length through the spine, right arm is straight. Take a breath in, reach the top of your head further to the front. And when you exhale, turn your heart to the left. Grow this slowly, take another breath. Turn. Now the left arm is gonna go up to the sky, revolved pyramid, keep pulling hip back. Beautiful. Now begin to rotate back. Just scooch that block in front. Come to a low lunge. Bring that back foot further down the mat so you can bend the front knee. Press into the hands. So nice. Look forward, take a breath in and step to a fold at the top of your mat. Go ahead and grab your marjoram essential oil. It's one of my favorite cooking oils. It's a common herb that we find in our kitchens. It's great with chicken. It's great in Italian dishes. This was, is very wonderful for respiratory and nervous system support. It's great for relaxing. It's another one of my favorite oils for pain. This one has a very similar constituent makeup, if you will, of a very common muscle relaxer. So it's great for muscle pain applied topically. So go ahead and take a smell of it. It's also the oil of connection. So this one helps us to soften up our heart and sort of warm up to new things. And I chose it today just to help us realign and relax into ourselves and into others as we want to be in alignment in our relationships with ourselves and with others. Go ahead and place a couple drops in your hands. It's a warm one, so we're not going to use too much. And then just slip your hands underneath your shirt in the back and rub it along your low back on that sacrum area. Sometimes we hold a lot of tension there, whether we know it or not, a lot of tension there. Beautiful. And now lower the body so that you can come down to an all force. Bring the block onto the top part of your mat and put it widthwise. Beautiful, so we're in tabletop block, might be between your hands, it's a good spot for it. And then we're going to shimmy the left leg back just a little bit and bring the right foot out just a little bit so that our hands are on the inside of the right foot. So bring your right foot up, knee is up, foot is flat. So it's called lizard. Sometimes we commonly know it as a runner's lunge. If your left knee hurts in this position, double up your mat or grab a blanket. But mostly the key to this one is making sure you're not drilling onto the kneecap, but instead you're more where the attachment of the quadricep hits the knee. And then your hands can be on the block, but see what would happen if your forearms came down to the block. Maybe tuck your chin, breathe into your hips. These blocks are such beautiful tools for deepening a posture. And so you might feel some sensations that you don't normally feel. We've brought the floor a little bit higher. And if it's not working for you, you can get rid of the block. You can come onto your hands. You don't have to go that deep. But then put your awareness into your low back where that marjoram is. Does it feel just a little bit warm? Beautiful, we're gonna to start to transition out of this. So if you're on your forearms or your elbows on the block, go ahead and come to your hands. 
And then you'll gracefully bring your right foot back and we'll find that alignment of tabletop, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And then start to shimmy the right knee back just a little bit so that you're on that quadricep attachment, not directly on the kneecap. And bring your left foot up and to the outside of your hand so that your hands are on the inside. And then find your forearms on the block or your hands. And then see what feels better for you. If the head falls, that's my, my favorite way to round my upper back and just kind of hunker in to this pose. You might like to keep your eyes forward and have more of a straight spine. It's totally up to you. Perfect, now go ahead and transition out of this and you'll come back to tabletop. And then you'll shift the weight of your body back to your heels and find child's pose just for a moment or two. Then shift the weight off of one side Swing your legs around in front. Bring the soles of your feet together. Knees are gonna open and then push your heels away from you towards the top of your mat. Go ahead and grab that little roller called Deep Blue. If you got a sample from me, it comes in a little bit of a roller. I like it in this way. It's a great way to deliver it into the body topically. This is one that we only use topically. This one has wintergreen in it and camphor and peppermint, blue tansy, blue chamomile, helichrysum, and osmanthus, all wonderful soothing oils. And so take a smell of that. This, these oils together create a beautiful, healthy inflammatory response in the body. It soothes sore muscles and joints and supports circulation. So we have that grapefruit, Cypress, and this one is also great for circulation and tight muscles are really just a cluster of cells that have kind of congregated within the joint or within the muscle and created some swelling and stiffness. So this is a beautiful oil to kind of break some of that up. Go ahead and take your deep blue blend and rub it along the back of your neck, along that tight spot on the top of the shoulder known as your trapezius. Do both sides. You might roll some into your hand and use your hand to rub it in, or you might just apply it directly to that area and then rub it in. But it's such a beautiful blend for surrendering pain. Once you get it on your body, enjoy that warm and cool sensation all at once. It's like the best natural Bengay ever. And then bring your hands to your shins, your ankles, get long again, this length of our spine. Push your heart towards your feet, but keep your spine long, really moving from the hip crease again. Take another breath in. Push your heart towards your feet. You have one more breath like that. And now stack that block on top of your feet, either the tallest, the middle, or the flattest, and rest your forehead. If it doesn't reach, stack fists on top of the highest point of the block, but make a connection here. And now soften into the pose, round your spine, and just feel this beautiful blend of oils. The blue tansy and the blue chamomile make it that blue color. If you can see it, it dissipates into the skin, but these beautiful florals are so soothing to the body, but then when you add them, to wintergreen and camphor and peppermint. It's this cooling sensation. And then helichrysum is another floral that's just beautiful, soft, and so, so healing. Emotionally, this one is nice too because it not just addresses our physical pain, but it can help us with some of the emotions that underlie our pain. Whether we suffer from chronic pain that goes on and on and it becomes heavy in our emotions, or we take an emotional pain and we stuff it into 
our body somewhere. We don't want that, that to happen. So we use this blend to surrender the pain, to let go of the pain and to help it dissipate. So as you come into this beautiful surrendering forward folds, breathe into the body, direct the breath into the areas of your body that have tension and see if between the intention of dissipating the pain, the breath and the oils and the stretch, see if you can excavate that sensation. I picked it today just to help us see what lies beneath some of the misalignment in our lives, whether that's physical misalignment, emotional or behaviorally, maybe our mind gets too busy, but can we make a conscious change where we need to and be ready for the next season? Beautiful. Take one more breath. Start to come up. Grab your balance blend. Unscrew the cap. Put it right under your nose. Take a long breath in. We use balance a lot. Balance, as you might remember, is that blend of frankincense, spruce, blue tansy, hoewood, and blue chamomile. So we have two back-to-back, -back, blue chamomile, blue tansy. We're in the last blend of deep blue, and here we get more of it, plus frankincense. Go ahead and just breathe it in. It's like a walk through the forest. And now dab a little bit onto your fingertip, run it along your mustache and then take a little bit more onto a fingertip and rub it between your forehead, in the center of your forehead, between your eyes. And that quiets down the mind. You might bring it with you and go ahead and lower onto your back. Draw your knees into your chest. And then lower your feet to the mat. Keep your knees high and walk your feet to the edges of your mat. Take a breath in and go ahead and drop your knees over to the left and just feel that opening through the hip. We did a lot of lengthening and alignment and long legs. Now let's open here, let's open. Balance is such a beautiful blend again to relax some of those sore muscles and joints and help our nervous system remain healthy and harmonious, connecting mind, body, and spirit, and kind of calming down any of the anxious thoughts that we might get or those racing thoughts. But emotionally, this one is so grounding. Bring your knees back up to center and drop them over to the right. And just like a tree that grows so slowly over time, this is a beautiful oil to finish our practice with as we embark into the next season of growth, we are reminded that we really need to stay present in the now to achieve those longer goals and that a tree takes time and that staying rooted and grounded in who we are will bring out the greatest potential staying in alignment with our deepest truth. Go ahead and bring the knees back up. Let the soles of the feet find each other again. You might take another beautiful smell of balance, another swipe along the mustache. I like to even dab a little bit just on the underside of my nose when I come into my final pose of the practice. And I breathe. The tension leave your jaw, your eyes. And 
you can stay here or you might decide to slip all the way down to long legs in your final pose. As always, it's a beautiful gift to me to share your yoga practice, your time with you. I don't take it lightly. I honor and respect your commitment, your support, and everything that you are. Thank you so much for being in my life. If you have questions about the practice, about alignment, about the oils, just reach out to me. Stay as long as you like. Be well. Namaste.